Exactly. I, that's why I'm expecting it to be banned out here. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, jumping into the draft for this game and number one. TNC is going to be on the blue side here. We got next play Evos on the red. So already bands coming out here. Going to be the Fanny. There's quite often, uh, you know, typical bands we're used to seeing. That's what you do when you have a masterful assassin uh, main on the other end. That's right? true. You just get rid of the fanny. Uh, also <laughs> expecting a lot of mid lane <laughs> focus. You want to make sure uh, Yelly Hayes and Escalera in this case, uh, MPL season nine rookie of the season, get respect. And of course, as you do in red side, you ban out the Valentina. There's obviously uh, SDZYZ, <laughs> one of spe one of the specialties of the fanny, right? But you can never just risk it get going back. over to the first pick uh, at any at any point in the game. I, I feel like still you're going to see the typical priorities what we're seeing lately, right? In that's usually either the Thamuses or the Beatrix. Um, we even see Akai either being banned out or picked out. So again, we're gonna have to see what TNC kind of changed here. Whereas I we got a look, we got a preview of what yeah. Next Playbos has up their sleeves. And still, even if the Natalia is not taken out here, they could potentially put that on Mikophobia. Maybe they take the book, uh, a page out of the book from Blacklist International and H2O takes the Natalia no, in the jungle, right? There is Your that option is too picking. here, but all already Bands coming out, not, you know, nothing surprised here. Julian does get taken out, which is great because that's a huge flex hero right now that teams like to go with. So let's see what Next Play Evos likes to, actually they're gonna respond with the Akai. And already the first pick being the 1-1, one, one, big priority here for TNC. Yeah, TNC's been watching the games yesterday, man. Saw Yelly Hayes go up on that Julian and they say, no, we're not gonna experience that today. Yeah, what TNC is doing is they're protecting their strategy. They use the information that they got on Next Play EVOS yesterday and they'll make sure to essentially Cut it at the root. Make sure that next play Evos doesn't even get uh, comfortable. <laughs> but it looks like comfort doesn't no seem to be what next play Evos her. wants. Beatrix is going to go into the hands of Donut. And here's a pretty good flex. Again, you're not sure if this is going to be a Mycophobia, Natalia. Or, dare I say, pray tell, it might be even an H2O, Natalia. Yes. There is precedent. Precedent now for a very good Natalia jungler in Season 10. Uh, historically, obviously, Mycophobia loves this hero. So... Okay. You're gonna have to think about that if you're TNC. Interesting too here, TNC taking the Angela and plus the Esmeralda, right? And honestly, I'm not surprised by the Esmeralda because this was a signature pick for Cram mm -hmm. even last season. Um, you know, we'll have to see if it ends up being the eternal battle that we're used to seeing here with Jam I James takes the Uranus. But nope. last pick's gonna be the counter here, the Dyroth. Is it though? There's still a lot of flex here. You can still bring uh, the Dyroth into the jungle, but one thing is for sure, TNC, coach, Scholar, Coach 413, they're thinking off of protecting. Again, there's a lot of information on Next Play Evos. These two picks here that they picked up, the Esmeralda and the Angela, they're playing off the fact that the Esmeralda counters the Angela. Whoever gets hit with the Heart Guard, you just chunk away the shields and you get in their face, Bob's your uncle. But with that being said, Next Play Evos, they're cutting down. All right, TNC, TNC, you're not picking up on jungles just yet. We're going to start closing the gaps here. Would not be surprised if they can take out the Baksha or even a Barats. Honestly, so as NXP, it's so difficult to ban out uh, junglers against TNC oh! just because SDZYZ has a, such a huge pool. And there's the Hayabusa going out yep. again at yep. TNC doing their homework. Mr. Salonga's in the building. That's what you do. <laughs> That's what you do. You just take out all the assassins. Lancelot would not be surprised if that was a Lancelot. I mean, you, you, you said, right, you're, you're feeling like it's leaning a little more, bit more towards those assassin junglers right now. And... You know, if you if just ban NXP. them out, if yeah, it's if NXP. it's NXP, you just ban them out because uh, then that limits the pool here. But like we said, we don't necessarily know just yet where the Natalia is going. It could go in the hands of H2O a here. So let's punch. see what the last Your bans are going to be here for dead. both teams as they focus. Once again, they take out the Paquito here. Next play, Evos don't want to give that one up. And TNT making a quick ban here. The response, they take out a powerhouse in the mid lane. They take out the Lilia. All right, so uh, a lot of coverage has been done by TNC at least, but again, Yelly Hayes can actually swap out. I, f I think I've seen Yelly Hayes actually use the Natalia, so I don't know. I don't know, man. There's just True. a lot of swappability. This time. Hard to actually counter Yelly Hayes at this point, this point because of how much veterancy he has under his belt and the amount of heroes he has on his pool as well. We haven't even talked about Selena yet, yep, which playing is not showing today. Ten seasons in a row across the better half of a decade. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of flex, but that is going to be quelled here. We are going to be confirmed uh, seeing a mid-savior, yep. which has been 
flip and flopping in the past three months. Uh, the range that he provides might not be as useful, but now, since they do have the Natalia on their side, Savior is going to be relatively safe. TNC closes off the draft with a Baksha and a Lolita. Huh. Half of the Lolita Lilia duo, they did deny themselves that. But again, you want to protect yourself from uh, the Savior, which we did test uh, while we were on the ground at MSC. Uh, we did test Lolita, blocks half of the skills of Savior. So TNC covering their bases. This is interesting, though, because yeah, I like what they're doing, TNC, but at the same time, do they have enough damage? Yeah, like, this because is. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you're. this is Angela, right? This is going to be Angela here. And yes, Xavier has, I would say, he's fallen off a little bit in the in the strength department, right? But he still has a huge, huge threat with the dawning light alone. And as the game progresses on, it's a very low cooldown. And here we go. It's actually going to be the, the Karina being locked in here. How did this fall through? <laughs> Interesting. Um... I guess both teams uh, were, were going off of the uh, tangent of uh, it might be Jungle Karina, uh, Jungle Natalia, it might be Jungle Natalia. Nope, Karina's still open. Now, good question. Where's the damage for TNC? They can team fight forever. It's basically trying to open a coconut with a vibranium spoon. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, but now you're looking at NXPE down the barrel of a gun. It's all damage. It's Again. all damage. It's all damage. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, doing exactly what they did yesterday. Exactly. Uh, a very, although not as squishy as their lineup yesterday, yeah. right? This has a, lot, a little bit more uh, firmness to it. Uh, at the same time, I'm thinking about what we've seen in the previous games where a team has put all their eggs on the gold lane basket. Mm. Where have we seen that earlier today, maybe? Uh, it did not work out that well. So, yeah. Well... We're going to find out, right? Because welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Land of Dawn here, the second series of the day. Next play, Evo versus TNC. And as we see everybody get to the lanes here, like we said, right? Nikophobia on this Natalia again. Going to be looking to do the same thing he did yesterday against a Blacklist International. And just across the board, right, even just looking, SD still rolling with that Demon Slayer emblem, of course, on this jungle Baksha. Doesn't want to give that one away just yet, but still, you know, how is that going to match up? H2O actually defaulting to the Demon Slayer as well mm -hmm. to go head-to-head -head with SD. There's a lot of questions for TNC here. Number one, where is their burst going to come from? There's literally none, <laughs> given that your support, your mid laner is Escalera. But wait, quick, mid? Oh, bottom? Oh, look at the bottom lane, though. James is having a bit of a hard time. Uh, but at least he is able to clear out the waves. And right now, Mikophobia, he's going to be spotted out. But will it be too late? Mikophobia might be in trouble here. He slowed down a little bit. And that's going to be first blood going over the TNC. Man, so like, I mean, I understand what they were going for there. But just unfortunately, couldn't get that. And now still in the jungle, H2O is going to be in trouble. H2O again is going to be slowed down as well. But he is not as sturdy as oh. he thinks he should be. Able to make it out, I think that is literally one HP. NXP oh. is down 500 gold here, 600 taken already. Two minutes, uh, not yet even here. First hurdle, clearly gonna go over TNC. Something's never changed. They are gonna go for objectives, and it's 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 uh, good that they got this first blood. Now I understand. They're gonna go off of uh, sustainability, and they're gonna pretend that, like the early game doesn't exist. Yeah, I have to say that TNC's lineup is deceptively itchy. I don't know how to say that. Itchy. It, he, it hurts. It's persistent. It, they're very persistent, and their DPS is actually consistent. Mm -hmm. So they're actually doing a pretty good job of taking the early game team fights, despite what we think their lineup is, which is basically a huge tank. Well, I yeah, I think you just you prolong the fight if you're TNC and you kind of whittle down your opponent. That's what you're going for. But then you can also look at Yasuo, right? He's a huge damage potential output on that Wan Wan alone if he can get to that point. And now Turtle fight happening here. Turtle is going to be going in favor of NXPE H2O. Beautiful retribution. James will be slowed down. There goes the die rough and the backup is just not ready. They just are not in position to go for the fight. They will have to disengage. That turtle will go over to the NXP is pretty big though. Yep. Two things. Uh, good news, bad news. Number one, H2 still got it. Oh that yeah. Retribution, you know it. That retribution, gotta watch out. But the other thing though, bad news. It looks like NXP are of two different mindsets. You saw how Mikophobia was hesitating, hesitating, hesitating. I'm not sure if the execute was off of cooldown just yet. Wasn't watching it, but. 
it looked like they were thinking if they can get a kill, can we get a kill? Can we clean up? And it looked like Mikafobi was making the call. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I think that confusion is also just the fact that you have so much tankiness to deal with from TNC. I mean, you have Ben things in SD alone, right? So, and then you have to work around the hard guard. So they do have a, a ton of damage and burst potential, but sometimes finding those angles, finding those openings are going to be a little bit difficult here. They're really relying once again on James to kind of whittle them down with those paths, the way that, that Dyroth works, reduce that armor, and then just burst someone down and hope to get that numbers advantage. So right now we're seeing them, right? Yes, they got that turtle, but still when it comes to the team fights here, they're going to struggle a little bit unless they can really find those moments. And that's what we're seeing right so far. Even though two kills in favor here of TNC, Next Play Evos has to be careful with how they approach those objective fights because in a small space like that, it is going to be tough to work around this Lolita alone. Just watching the camera and Mikophobia's journey around the map, I would have to say that it is looking like he's having a hard time like finding targets. As strong as you are as an Natalia, as you are not invisible on the map, it is hard to wheel down these tanky heroes. Yep. Right now, SD trying to walk up onto the bush. He does not have any problem fighting. He has the hard card to work with. And that boiling lava is just not enough to slow down the attack of NXPE. Cram, though, he's willing them down with all of those cloth fibers that just hurt when it touches you. <laughs> and I don't know. It was weird. That fight was weird for me. It was odd. It seems like NXP found their window. Yeah, and right now we're going to have to find out if there's anything that TNC can do against this turtle, apparently there will be none. So it, interesting, right? Because that's they still took the discipline approach after that. TNC yeah. didn't actually commit to getting a kill there when they probably could have. So this is what I was saying, right? The, the the burst, the damage potential is obviously there for next play Evos. If they can just kind of work around the ultimates, especially the heart guard, right, from Escalera, that might work for them. But here we go, another setup and hit. Ooh, that was a beautiful Numino blast. I don't even need to call that. That is a dead Gelly Haste if I've ever seen one myself. And that's gonna be an easy kill for TNC. Again, very deceptively powerful lineup in taking kills, despite what their lineup looks like. Yeah, that's uh, Mikophobia not checking the right bush. And again, it's not because he was not doing his job. He just got overloaded. The rotational speed from TNC, given that Escalera has global presence and there is uh, the Baksha Unite on SDZYZ, he just gets the places. They just get the places much, much faster. And now Donut, who is possibly the most farmed hero, I did not check, uh, given the item check earlier. He is getting a lot of money. Oh no, another oh. fight up top. Um, he's got the backup, but will not be enough to save Donut here, Yelly Hayes is in trouble. That is a very tanky SD tanking up all those sour hits, and Mikophobia is just way too late to the party. See, Mikophobia can't even go in there. He knows the rest of the team, but oh, in bottom lane, James. Oh, James is gonna take this kill. Easy peasy, oh. lemon squeezy. And <laughs> will be able to get out with one. Oh, will he though? Will he though? I don't think so, says SDZYZ. Picks it up, and that's five to two on the kill score. And more action on the map is just more fun for us. Okay, big pickups here. Yep, and so far, both teams know exactly what they're doing and they're playing on different wavelengths. NXPE, despite the back and forth, back and forth being down four kills, they were playing the map. Oddly enough, a damage-based lineup is playing the map and that's what Mikophobia has been buying. The fact that we aren't seeing many kills on this Natalia, a roaming assassin, he's checking the right bushes for the long term. He's playing the long con here, but for next play, Evos, on the other end, you're looking at TNT, who is playing the major objective. So now both teams are playing contradictory to what their lineup may look like. And there's the first hurdle for TNC. So again, you're looking at TNC. Textbook, textbook, where is it? Still, Donut goes down. And out of nowhere, that's just an, uh, a kill that has happened again because of the hard guard. Because of the yep. presence of the Angela, it's so easy for, for Cram to get near their targets. And it's so, so easy for him to actually just get those kills. And James also, again, slowed down once more by the Baksha and then ganged up by the rest of TNC. He's got taken out without breaking a sweat. This is what I'm saying, man. Actually, Leo is the one that said this. This is the, the speed of rotations here. And now they're focusing on the mid They're back on mid. Right there and then, Mikafoya will be able to make it out live. And then you mentioned it, how fast SD went from bottom to mid and making tr a very tremendous amount of impact on the map. This is what I like. Right, both teams have a mid, pretty much uh, the global threat, right? You have the heart guard or you have the dawning light, but look at Escalera, right? Even running this impure rage on this Angela and the fact that you can provide oh, yeah. the heart guard. That. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> and at the same time, you are 
able to slow members down for an next play evos they're struggling with that donut like we've seen even with the flicker without the flicker he has a hard time if he's stuck alone so again they really need to focus on keeping donut alive here because when it comes down to it both gold laners but now h2o gonna be the focus Ooh, here H2O. in the bot almost got that proc if that le right proc got hit man that would have been trouble right now trouble is happening up on top side but escalera will be able to make it in time to save cram could have been the big dive there from NXPE, again, stifled by the Angela. Loving how TNC is actually playing the Angela here. Uh, you're gonna see that uh, it it is rocking an impure rage. So it's pure uh, magic damage Angela, but there you just saw how it can be used to actually extend a hero's life. So not only are they using it offensively, but also defensively. Yeah. So you're, you're expecting now TNT to be playing off kilter, and it's that switch up, it's that clutch. They've changed gears, they switched gears, and it's put NXPE now down about a thousand gold, which is interesting to see, given how it's eight and two, six kills down, Mikrofobia is zero, one, one. Donut actually is down about a thousand and a half gold, two thousand. So the struggles are coming from odd angles. That's TNC strength right now. So NXP, what they gotta do is avoid things like this. Oh, and they no. are gonna go in and fight. H2O can't even react anymore. The rest of the backline are not able to hit their marks just because of how overwhelming TNC is becoming here in this mid game. We're approaching 10 minutes on the game oh. and they are going for the fight around oh. the moon area. Donut, a beautiful spray on the Nibiru's passion. James follows suit oh. on the SD and Donut takes care of Ben Finks. That is an almost wipeout there for NXPE fighting off and taking a lord as the spoils of war. It's a rope a back and forth, back and forth. The past 10 minutes have been more action packed than possibly a single series in all of MPL Philippines season 10. What exactly happened is NXPE, they understood they were rubber banding. They were rubber banding and now this has propelled Donut a thousand gold ahead. Earlier he was down, now Yasuo was the one struggling given the fact that Yasuo had to build those steel leg plates and all this time Donut was just building all damage and they are now leveraging their main strength. It's so difficult to be TNT this time around given that you were expecting to be using your defense as your main offense, and now the shoe's on the other foot. Yeah, like I said, you gotta be careful, Ron, especially with James on this Dyroth. And now they're gonna be looking for a setup here on H2O. H2O might be in trouble. New Hill blasts to the face. He is the main tank. He has no problem taking that damage. TNC hesitate there for a bit to go for the fight. And because of that, NXPE are starting to go full throttle on this siege. This is a huge moment, right, for just Next Play Evos in general, opening up the map for themselves, grabbing a bunch of turrets. And like I said, you focus on your gold lane here. Donut able to capitalize on, wow, Ow. already the damage showing here, right? So even with just those two items, now into the base. Showing up very much from the prowess with the runner shots. Donut just slow down Yasuo so much, making it so hard for TNC to actually defend from behind the turret. And Crab is also experiencing that right now. Look at Donut go at it. And James on the bottom side, make sure those minion waves are in favor of the red side. And now it's gonna be Crab diving in with a falling star mode. He's gonna be very low and taken out by Miko. Yasuo fights back on the Miko. It's a good answer. And it's H2O gonna be stopped, but not really. They're gonna switch out over to mid lane and they want to finish this right now. Basically, it's Captain America versus Iron Man. On paper, as long as Iron Man can blast you, that shield's not gonna do anything, and that's what this is. They've overloaded TNT's game plan of that persistent DPS and yeah. rotational speed. They have found their window, and now they're not letting go. They're down 4K. TNC are struggling to keep their heads above water. Yeah, at this point, Donut is like the sleeping sniper. He slept for the whole game. And then right now, when your team needs it, he just woke up and tore everyone a new one. And that explains the 29k yeah. that he's dealing. James, that's just how Abysm Strike works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as he sees Pure that your damage. life is very low, he can finish the job, and he is doing so well. Man, it's true what they say. The whispers down the grapevine, James is back. James yeah. is back indeed. And, you know, that's the thing, right? It's... I pointed this out in the draft for TNC. You know, you have this Angela running in the mid lane for you. And yes, Escalera has had a great game sitting at 3-0-4, rocking that Impure Rage once again. But still, you know, your opportunities, if you compare it to this later portion of the game on Yelly Hayes with that Xavier, it's a lot harder 
to have those team fights go in your favor because we see right now the struggle of Wan Wan trying to really get those weak points off, trying to proc that crossbow of Tang, and that's what we're seeing in the term in te terms of team fight, right? They're looking for the setups here and now popping out Conceal. Gonna see if they can get out Mikophobia. Oh man, that's gonna be trouble here. Mikophobia, I think, might have panicked a little too much. But the Lord. Uh, but the Lord will be the uh the prize here for NXPE for that scouting and the information being given by Miko. Your uh, sacrifice is well appreciated. What NXP is doing there, specifically Mikophobia, is he's just playing ward. He knew exactly where he wanted to be, where he needed to be, to check in and stop TNC from playing their game plan. TNC's game plan is play the map. NXP, they're shrinking the map. They're making sure that the four that were away from Mikophobia could melt out whatever TNC had. So even if there is shields and what persistence there is dps there is all of the sustainability nxp is going to shred right through it that's what bought them the 5k gold lead here and this luminous lord marching down mid and it looked like it was planned because miko's back on the map at the same time the lord yeah. got out yeah i mean uh you know calculated basically right at this point so tnc fully on defense here base completely going to be exposed They've got, I mean, they just have to find the positioning, really. They know that they're going to be assaulted here by Next Play Evos just shortly as they try to work on this Lord. It's going to be up to them. Yasuo already taking a huge hit, Yo! make it two. Has to heal up, but here we go. Next Play Evos going to siege into the base. You got so many projectiles to worry about. What can they do? A of Strike will be missing, and Lord will be taken out. Fight will be started here by the Numino Blast. Kram is in the middle. He has Zuggin Migo, but he can't find him. James is oh. in trouble. When when is flying. Yasuo switching over to Yelly Hayes could be bad, but Yasuo he might be in a bad position as well. The oh my god, that was propped already. That was both so close there for Yasuo. The base. the base! The base is the problem! Yeah, oh my god! And that's gonna be the way that XPE cleans it up just when you thought TNT could have defended. Textbook next play was established in 2020, stealing games, the heist of the night all over again. Oh my god.